Alright, so a friend of mine recently asked me, since he's trying to get into modeling, how you would take multiple objects and connect them together to form one new object. So what I've done in this scene is I've essentially just kind of, I put a couple of spheres down, they got ten segments each, and then I put a box down. And this is roughly the shape of some kind of hideous deformed leg. So the first step that you want to do is select one of them and then right click on it and go down to convert and convert to edible poly. Now the next step is you want to attach the other models to it. Press F4 to turn on your uh, edge view and then let's see this looks like a good place to connect it so let's delete the faces here and then there's a couple of ways that we can go about this uh, one way is you can go into the border select mode and then select both of the borders and bridge it over and that's not too bad because of the geometry it's a little weird but you could just kind of fix that up you know uh, select these two vertices and then just pull them out and then it would look a little less hideous and deformed, but still quite hideous and deformed. Now that's not saying that the method is wrong, it's just that this is a poor example of when to use it. Another way you can do it is using target weld. You could also just use regular weld, but I'll go into that in just a moment. You click on one of the vertices that you want to move to the other one, and then you click on the other vertice and it moves it over and connects them. Now with this method, it's important to note that the first vertice that you click on is going to be moved to the second vertice that you click on. And there you go. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with just a regular weld. So it's essentially the same process, except for you select both of the vertices, you click on the settings button right next to the weld and then you just increase the weld threshold until they connect. And then you do that for all the vertices that you want to connect. You can also do this for multiple vertices at a time. Uh, if you do it at too many and they're close to each other, then they'll all just mesh into the one weird, uh, well not weird, but they'll all just go into one spot and then you'll only have like one vertice. But in this case, since they aren't really close to each other, I can safely change the weld threshold. And there you go. There's three different techniques for connecting two different objects. And if you wanted to attach this stupid little foot down here, then it would just be the same thing. Except for in this case, you'd want to add another line through there. That way, you would have enough polygons to connect it all. And that way, the topology would work together. And here I'm just welding it up with the regular weld function there. So obviously this leg isn't something you're going to see in a movie or a video game. It's not a very nice model. Uh, it was just to demonstrate the technique. Um, personally I like to just start with something like a box and then model out from there, but this technique has merit and I do use these techniques, bridges, and uh, welding and all of that for all sorts of things even sometimes just optimizing polygons and it's uh, it's it's a good thing to know about and keep in mind and use every now and then
So that's all I have for this video. Uh, I've always found it really annoying when at the end of the video some YouTuber goes, Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel! But that said, if you like my videos, I would appreciate it if you press the like button. It's a bit of an ego booster for me. It's nice. Uh, and commenting is always very good too. Uh, I'm always looking for more ideas on what to do, what tutorials and things. Um, I, I know the program, I just don't know what people want to know about the program. Um, and you know, subscribing is the same thing as liking, it just boosts my ego.